behavior? What are they like? What do the black and Hispanic men, uh, what's their behavior? What are they like today? Standing on the damn corners of 51st and McDowell. They are like children. They are like what? Children. Like what? I said, what's your... And the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone, written with the finger of God. How was the Bible written? Written with the finger of God. Answer? You're going to get the answer. You ask me a question. I'm going to answer the question. No, I'm not being a clown. I'm answering your question. When I ask you to prove what you were saying, I will listen to you, my brother, if you prove what you're saying. Read this. Leviticus. something real quick i'm going to show you you have to be quiet long enough for me to tell you where it came from because you guess what you're doing you're, you're asking it see, see what you're doing you're already saying that i'm wrong and you ain't even give me the chance to speak and i'm giving you the chance to speak watch this because i'm telling you every time every time we ask any brothers to prove something prove it prove it watch this first thessalonians chapter 5 verse 21 Prove all things. Hold fast to that which is good. I want proof, I want proof that Constantine wrote the Bible. Because that's what you said. Now, 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 while you getting that, I'm going to edify the people and show who really wrote the Bible. Give me Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 9. Prove. Watch this. But I'm going to read it for you. If you want the answer, then you're going to stay there. If you don't, you can move. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 9, verse 9. When I was going up into the mount to receive the tables of stone. Moses went up to the mountain to receive the tables of stone. Read. Even the tables of the covenant, which the Lord made with you. Then I abode in the mount 40 days and 40 nights. I neither ate bread nor drunk water. And the Lord delivered unto me two tables of stone, written with the finger of God. How was the Bible written? Written with the finger of God. What book was it published by a man? Give me Psalm 68 and 11. Bring it on. Give me Psalm 68 and 11. You want the answer? You're going to get the answer. You ask me a question. I'm going to answer the question. No, I'm not being a clown. I'm answering your question. Watch this. Psalm 68, verse 11. The Lord gave the word. Who gave the word? The Lord gave the word. The Lord gave the word, word bro. The Lord, no, I'm not. The Lord gave the word. The Lord gave. The Lord gave. Now you, now you believe the Bible? No. You believe the Bible, or you don't believe the Bible? That's what we we're trying to do. But guess what you was doing? I asked you. I asked you. No, we out here. We gonna set up and we gonna teach. I'm Bring not it on. Down. No, I know. I'm trying to deal with you as my brother. That's what I'm trying to do. That's you right. answer. You ask me a question, and I'm answering your question. No, you ask me a question, and I'm answering my answer the question, brother. I, I'm out here to teach my people. That's what I'm out here to do. That's what I'm doing. No! Like men. Like men. Like I'm going to read the Bible. I'm going to continue to read the Bible. I'm dealing with you as a man. That's what I'm dealing with you as. Give me, give me uh, 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 Leviticus 19 and 17 real quick. Brother, we got love for you. And like I said, we're going to continue to teach the word. No, I'm doing this for the edification of my people. That's what I'm doing. Because guess what, bro? I read the Bible and I asked you to prove what you were saying. I will listen to you, my brother, if you prove what you're saying. Read this. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. I don't hate this brother in my heart. The brother came up, asked me a question, and I asked the brother to prove what he's saying. Read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thy heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. So if he's my, if he's my brother, and he said that I'm wrong, 
then he should correct me. But he should correct me with proof. That's, That's right. all I'm saying. Teach. The brother's getting mad calling me a clown. I ain't called that brother one name. Teach. Read. Thou should not be no clown. I'm asking you to answer the question. Read. And not suffer sin. Listen, brother, we're here to teach the word of God. Yes, On this right. microphone right here. Yes, so I will deal with you. No, I'm going to deal with you right here. Because here's the thing. Here's the thing. If what you're saying is correct, then just say it right now. I'm waiting for you to tell me the Council of Nidea. I see it. I know about the Council of Nicaea. I do. That's what I'm telling you. You're telling me about the Council. Can I answer your question, brother? Can I? Can I? Okay, I'm going to stop and then let me answer you when you. Timbuktu real quick. Now, what, what, you, what I have you hold? Give me Psalm 68. Stay with that. And then watch this. Bro, I'm going to deal with this because I want to deal with the fact you said somebody else wrote the Bible. Re read this. I'm going to read this right now. I want you to feel disrespected. I'm going to ask you your first question. Hey, but you should get your hand cut on the Sabbath, bro. Psalm 68 and verse 11. The Lord gave the word. The Lord gave the word. Read. Great was the company of those that published it. So any book, any book, I'm a, I, I got you, I got you. Hey, I'm glad, hey, stay there, bro. I'm glad you right here. I'm glad, I'm glad you right here. I'm glad. The brother don't want to calm down because he know I got the proof to back it up. I got, God gave the word and the men of the Lord published the Bible. Hey. Now, hey, give me my give me my book about King James because I get I guarantee you the white man told him King James is a white man. That's right. Watch this. Give me get that book. It's red. Yep, yep, yep. Give me that. God gave the word. King James did not write the Bible. King James did not write the Bible. He authorized a new translation of the Bible. That's right. Watch this. What read this? Watch this. Watch this. And give me Bible in there. I need you to stand right here. Because guess what? The Bible says prove all things. I'm going to prove all things. Because guess what? The brother is over here talking about the white man's doctrine. And all the stuff that came out of his mouth was white man doctrine. Read Bible. Read this. The Bible says prove all things. We're going to prove it. What? With history? I'm about to prove King James. I'm not jumping all around. Read. Bible. King James Version. Uh, what's your name, bro? Cheeto? Watch this. I'm going to tell you what's happening. You know what they teach? I'm Because I want to lay it out all for you so you know what's going on. So what they teach in Christianity and what our brothers and sisters got in their mind is that Constantine and the white man wrote the Bible. Right? That's what they That's what they teach. That's exactly what they teach. And they think King James was a white man. King James wasn't a white man. King James was a black man. King James, you have something called the Dark Ages or the Byzantine Empire. That's when black men ruled the world for a thousand years. So this was during this time. And not and this is not coming out my own mouth. This is books that I'm going to read you. Watch this. I'm going to show you about the Bible real quick. Bible, King James Version. When Elizabeth died in 1603, 
the crown, the crown passed to James I, who had been king of Scotland for 37 years as James VI. Several months after he ascended the throne of England, he authorized the new translation of the Bible. You see that, bro? He authorized a translation. He did not write the Bible. To authorize something means you just change one thing. So for instance, the Bible was originally in Hebrew. He translated it with Hebrew. It wasn't by himself. He had 40 of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars. Hey, a scholar, hey. think about it. If I say you're a very scholarly brother, does that mean that you're a dumb brother? No, that means you're a smart brother if you're a scholar, right? Watch this. He authorized the new translation of the Bible to replace the Bishop's Bible. Forty seconds. Don't, don't take don't take my don't take my passion for disrespect, bro. Forty-seven of the best Hebrew and Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups. Forty-seven of the best, bro, Hebrew and Greek scholars. Read three for the Old Testament, two for the New. And one for the apocrypha. Let me answer your question. I'm going to answer his question. Hebrew and Greek scholars, because the Israelites, which spoke Hebrew, they got conquered by the Greeks. You read that in the book of Maccabees. So that's why it had to be translated to, and I can read that and prove it. Read. And Greek scholars of the day were divided into six groups. Three for the Old Testament, two for the New, and one for the apocrypha. Two of the groups met at Oxford, two at Cambridge, and two at Westminster. When a group had completed its task, it worked or submitted to 12 men, two from each panel. Final differences of opinion were settled at a general meeting of each company. It so that's what I want. So we know what happened as far as how the Bible got translated to English. King James was a part of that, right? Now let's read about King James first. And then after that, I want Isaiah 28 and 11. History. History. Start at the first page right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I want. Right yep. We, we read this, the King James. Because did you understand? Did, did, did you think King James was a black man before today? King James is a black man. A lot of times these brothers around here King James is a white man. The Bible is a white man's book. It's not. The Bible is our book. It's the blacks and Hispanics book. Watch this. I know. I know that this image of a black King James. I know this image of what? A black King James can be a little confusing because of your Western education. Yes, he, said, he said, I know that you looking at a black team, King James could be confusing due to your Western education. You know what that in layman terms mean? Your white man taught you that. That's what it means. Read. Western education. But this is the truth that is known by the rich and the elite. This is the truth that is known by the upper echelon, the government, the brothers who ain't gonna tell you that you in Israel, who ain't gonna tell you you the greatest thing on this earth. Hey, bro, he read it. Come, come, he read it. That was, I want I want him to yell every word so everybody can hear it. Right. Bro, yeah, yes, that's how I educate the masses, bro. Read. That was the reason I paraded all of the English historians and professors before you, be, you, before I got into the bowels of this book. I had to get your mind ready to receive the truth. King James came from a long line of black Scottish Stuart kings. King James, King James came from what? A long line of black Scottish Stuart kings. Now let's go. Let's get some Bible. Let's see if there's something white about this Bible. Give me Job 30 and 30. Give me Job 30 and 30. Give me the Hey, I know, I know. Hey, I want you to do good too. I'm going to show you what's good after this. Watch. Read. Watch this. Book of Job, chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me. My what? What did the Bible say? My skin is black upon me. So I, I, I didn't, how, how do I get a white man out of that? Job said my skin is black upon me. Hold on, I, let me finish. I'm going to come to you. 
I'm going to come to you. Let me deal with this first. I got to deal with that King James stuff. That's fa that's false. I got to deal with truth right now. Reach. Job chapter 30 and verse 30. My skin is black upon me, and my bones are burned with heat. Give me Je Je Jeremiah 14 and 2. Jeremiah 14 and 2. Hold on, brother. Hold your peace. Just be patient. Be patient. Let me deal with this. Because, bro, anytime anything is brought out, I got to clear up the confusion. The Bible says uh, you got to know the truth, and the truth's going to make you free, bro. Right. Read this. No, I don't have half truth. Well, prove that I got half truth. Jeremiah chapter 14, verse 2. Judah mourning, and the gates thereof language. The tribe of Judah is in mourning right now, and the leadership, like your Al Sharptons and our older men on the street, they language, they weak as hell. They teaching white man garbage. They not teaching this Bible. This Bible is your Bible, you so-called blacks and Hispanics. You just don't know it. No, it's not everybody's Bible. No, it's not. Read. This is our Bible. Read. They are black unto the ground. What is the tribe of Judah? They are black unto the ground. Again, who wrote this book? Answer the question. God wrote the book. That's right. Who was King James? He was a black man who authorized the translation of the Bible. He did not write the Bible. And now we're going to answer the next question on why the Israelites needed the Bible translated. Because guess what? Through slavery and, and through slavery and corruption, the so-called blacks and Hispanics, they went through slavery and languages were changed. Watch this. Isaiah chapter 28 verse 11 for with stammering lips and another tongue and another language so with stammering lips and another language will God what? Will he speak unto his people? That's why the Bible had to be translated because God knew that you so called blacks and Hispanics y'all would get conquered just like this brother he said he's Puerto Rican right? That, this brother was conquered by the Spaniards. It happened, so he started speaking Spanish. So we got brothers in our congregation that teach the Bible in Spanish to the Puerto Ricans because they're from the tribe of Ephraim. God knew that these these brothers would be conquered. Read that. Give me a, a 1 Corinthians 14 and 21. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm coming down right after that. Appreciate it. 1 Corinthians 14 and 21. That's what I want. Let's see if that changed. This is the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 14, verse 21. In the law it is written, with men of other tongues and other lips will I speak unto this people. In the law it is written, in another language again will I speak to this people. That's what happened to the people. Read, uh, give me a uh, Deuteronomy. What you got? What you was hoping for? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the book of John, chapter 19 and verse 19. And Pilate wrote a title and put it on the cross and the name written was Jesus of Nazareth. So the name that was written was Jesus of Nazareth. And you had Israelites around, right? You had Israelites around. So why would it be, why would the, why would this subscription need to be written in any other uh, language than Hebrew? Because they was conquered at the time. They was conquered by the Greeks. It was conquered by the Romans. Read. This title then read many of the Jews, for the place where Jesus was crucified was nigh unto the city. And it was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. It was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin. It was written in Hebrew, Greek, and Latin because the Israelites were conquered by those people. That's why the Bible is translated. No, you don't. No, you don't, brother. And, and Hebrew, and Hebrew, my brother, what thou shalt not commit adultery in Hebrew? Is it the same thing in English? Is it the same thing in Greek? Is it the same thing in Latin? Yes, it is. It means don't sleep with that brother's wife. That's what it means. So it, it don't lose its meaning. Go to, uh, I don't speak Hebrew, bro. I don't speak Hebrew. I speak English. You speak English to me, yeah? Give me, some, give me Psalm 19. Psalm 19. What's that? No speech. No speech, no language. Psalm 19, verse 4. Yeah. 
Thank you. Let's read this. The book of Psalms, chapter 19, verse 3. There is no speech nor language. There's no speech nor language. Where their voice is not heard. God knew that they would be conquered. He is the one that made them be conquered because they continue to break the laws. Yes, you're right. Give me Isaiah 46 and 10. Yeah, and I like what you said. I'm loving what you're saying to me, bro. You said God knew this from the beginning. That's Watch right. this. The Bible says he did. Watch. The book of Isaiah, chapter 46, verse 10. Declaring the end before the beginning. Declaring the end from the beginning. God can declare the end from the beginning. So he knew that his people, these people, would be conquered. He knew that Puerto Ricans would be speaking Spanish eventually. He knew that the, the so-called black man would be speaking English. He knew we would be speaking Greek. That's why he needed the Bible to be translated. That has a lot. You know, what's your personal relationship with God? What's your personal relationship with God? Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. 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 No, this was not put, but these are the words of God. I'm listening, bro. I'm listening. That's which is a man. Which is a man. See the black man getting upset? Stop getting upset. Bro, no, I'm not talking about, I'm talking about dealing with that. Bro, stop that foolishness, bro. We on foolishness. We on foolishness. I'm over here talking about the laws of God, brother. And I'm not talking about dealing like that. Man, are, are people crazy as hell? What the hell is wrong with, you read this. The book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 3, 2, verse 3. And hereby we do know that we know him. Hereby do we know that we know the most high God. We're not dealing with no brothers in foolishness. That's We're trying right. to build up the men of God. Hey. That, that's crazy, man. I'm telling you, the black and Hispanic man, they crazy as hell. They crazy as hell. We speaking to brothers as men up here, getting them to keep the laws of God. That's right. Man, keep the commandments of God. And we're going to be here next week teaching the commandments of God. Right. Read this. And hereby we do know that we know him if we keep his commandments. So if you got a personal relationship with the Most High God, you're going to keep his commandments. That's, right. That's plain and simple. We ain't talking about no foo foo Christianity stuff. We talking about the Bible as it is written. And when I'm talking about dealing with the brother, I'm talking about dealing with the brother in righteousness. Right. Not on no damn foolishness. I'm telling you, the black man, the Puerto Rican man, I'm trying to tell you, they want to deal in foolishness. I'm telling you all the time, that's what it comes down to. You dealing with the men of the Lord up here. That's right. And we ain't going nowhere. That's right. Read. He that says, I know him, and keepeth not his commandments, is a liar. He that saith, I have a personal relationship with the Most High God, and you ain't keeping commandment one, is what? He that said is a liar, and the truth is not in him. And the truth ain't in you. We dealing with this brother up here, and guess what? He's doting about questions. He asks asked a question, and he don't want to know the answer to the question. When I start giving him the answer, he jumps to something else because he don't want he don't want me to crush what he's saying. Right. I'm doing it with proof. He's doing it with lip service. That's Christianity. The brothers coming up uh, talking about, oh, the Bible was written by a white man. I ain't read none of this Bible white yet. That's That's right. Right.
We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.